hi guys good day everyone this is green once again this is my channel and on this channel we have a lot of goodies for you on this channel so as you all know if you don't know before i am a graphics designer and i love football as well so basically on this channel i'm looking at creating a platform where we can learn design on this channel on this platform we are going to demystify the word graphics design and then we are going to demystify the word ui ux these are like fun discipline for me when it comes to graphic design i got interested in graphic design at a very young age i used to use one it was a laptop for my designs back home for my sisters my sisters want to use an dumped laptop back home so i had a corridor installed on it that year and then i used to make design on that corridor for a while just creating random stuff and everything before i start moving into photoshop and everything now basically design has been one captivating field for me just creating stuff and then just just making things basically so from creating design graphics you know, graphic design 3d modeling and even architectural designs building and structures I have been I have exposed myself to a lot of fields in design. I have as I have exposed myself to to road even highway like road construction and the, the software that can that I that I used to make these highways and roads and everything. Yeah, I just exposed myself to a lot of graphics for to a lot of design softwares actually. So for me design has just been everything. You understand? Design is everywhere, you know. So I just I just wonder when I see some products, some design online. It can be, it can be digital. It can be a live product that like I see around me. Just wonder how it is created, and then I try to make the same thing. So this has driven me to learning the graphic design software that I know. Currently, I'm using Adobe Illustrator. I'm using Photoshop. I'm using InDesign, Adobe InDesign, Industrial Design. I'm using what other what other I'm using Premiere Pro and I'm using After Effects. I'm using Adobe XD as well. Yes, I'm using Adobe, Adobe XD as well. Yes. Also, also apart from Adobe product, I have Figma that I'm using for my X in my user experience design. Apart from Adobe product as well, what other product do I use? And apart from Adobe product, when it comes to design, I've used varieties of software. At 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 the time I was I was trying to intern in a particular company where I, where I currently work, that's Costec. They are into they are into softwares. So they sell software. They are reseller. They are authorized reseller, training center and everything. So they they sell softwares for Autodesk. They are into, they are in partnership with a lot of multinational software companies basically. So I also got exposed to all the softwares they have in their portfolio. And I embraced most of the time softwares that are that are more of design. I know AutoCAD. AutoCAD is for creating 2D and 3D design for architectural, structural, or mechanical designs. We have I I I am also exposed to Revit architecture. I understand how the software works. It's also a 3D modeling software. It's for your building. Before you actually have your plan, your house. You know, you have a plan, you have a model, you understand. Now, before the, in the, in the old days, the previous ways was that uh, the architect or the designer can actually produce a sketch in form of 2D shape on a paper and then show it to the client and be like, okay, this is your room, this is your, sh showing them with box. But now the world has, no technology has advanced and Autodesk has also in, in improved as well. So we have a software that can actually model your building, your apartment, or your rooms, your your different spaces in your building, and then you can actually have them 3D rendered for you, and see your kitchen, and then see how spacious and how even now you, you even have we have even we have we have it in a even more bigger in a bigger way now. You can actually work in your room. You have you just it's just a model. You can actually work with VR gear on your head. On your head, you can actually work in your room, experience the room basically. So it has gone far and wide. So I know I know how Revit architecture architecture works as well. I won't say I know how to use the software per se, but I, when I open the software, I can actually come up with something for you. You understand? So I let that as well. But for the AutoCAD, I know AutoCAD. Though. So I know AutoCAD. 
um, 2D, and I've even trained AutoCAD as well. I've trained professionals AutoCAD. So Revit uh, is just something I love a lot because Revit is like an upgrade of AutoCAD. AutoCAD can do 2D and 3D modeling, but Revit can also do 2D and 3D modeling, but Revit is like boss to AutoCAD. So I enjoyed that. Also, another thing that I that I invested in was I am also exposed to infra, infra works. I'm exposed to ThinkCAD. One software that I enjoy a lot is Fusion 360. It's a mechanical design software. It's used for creating machine parts, different product and designs and everything. I also know about SketchUp as well. So a lot of design softwares that are pa, 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 out there. So I tried to expose myself to everything and then I niche down. What's not niche down? Niche down in the sense that having uh, having known, having having understood how basically having known all the software portfolio, now niching down to your core, like what interests you and what you want to do. That for me is graphics. I want to do graphics design and then I want to do I want to work on UI UX. UI UX is talking about user interface design and the user experience design as well. So we have, I want to be a UX designer basically. Is it two, there are two separate fields. It's my vision, it's my plan. I do want to be a UX designer. So apart from that, so I narrow down into graphics and UX design in UX design. Also, I have on the site on the side 3d modeling application so i have i have uh, fusion 360 in my portfolio and i have tinkercad in my portfolio these are 3d modeling applications that you can use to create 3d models fantastic 3d models basically so they are just 3d i'm trying i'm trying to go into the 3d part as well because it's something i need for my graphics i'm seeing my field basically i've i've, I've been able to niche down to my field which is graphics and ux design so the graphics part is where I need this 3D modeling because you can see on if you go to some website now, you see some 3D components. If you go to all this Udemy, if you go to all this Audacity, Udacity, you, you see all these 3D shapes or elements on the website. So it's like something that's currently in vogue now. So just you know you have to when it comes to when you are when you are in the field of IT, you need to make sure that you are you are spontaneous with the trend and then you just try to in improve your portfolio as you as you go all the way so 3d modeling is something i'm very very interested in now that's why i have cinema cinema 4d installed on my system and that's why i have this other software that I use. so i have like some 3d application okay okay blender yeah i have blender installed and cinema 4d so this is blender here yeah so I have Blender installed and Cinema 4D. So those are the aspects I'm trying to. I have not started, but I know if I want to, if I want to, if I want to go into some, something like something as such, I need to go for a structure training for that. You understand? So my graphics design skill is basically what I picked up from internships and trainees, and then I built. I just started building on what I have. And then I think experience actually taught me more of graphics design instead of training, proper training. So experience, doing work, and then getting, like, getting feedback from people, and then just trying to work. So the purpose of this platform is basically to help us work together, learn. If, if you are interested in what I've just spoken about, like, if you are interested in design, if you are interested in being creative, if you are interested in learning how you can work with all these design softwares from the likes of illustrator photoshop 3d modeling softwares like tinkercad fusion 360 talking about we have indesign as well indesign is a very interesting application i'm very very i'm very very i'm very very excited about the application is is an application that helps help you with desktop publishing whatever print design you want to do that we usually do on our illustrator now you have you have in design that can actually structure everything for you especially when it comes to creating a uh, portfolio creating all these large documents workshop profile and everything yeah so any print that you're going to work on in design is the way so 
have all these different software portfolio and then i'll be introducing them one after the other and then i just hope you can just have fun creating stuff and being creative guys so this is me this is green so green light yeah you might be wondering green light yeah green light yeah so green studio and then let's work together let's be creative and let's let's do this yeah also one thing i'm very very interested one thing i'm very very interested in as well is branding one thing i'm very one thing i'm also very one thing i'm also very interested in is branding branding yeah branding yeah branding yeah i'm also interested in branding i brand businesses i've done over 15 identity design for different companies that are currently running so i've tried like i've tried all right guys i really this is a platform where you can collaborate if you are looking to learn some if you are looking to learn the basics of design from the scratch with like from step by step with you and then with feedback with from my own side and everything so this is where you should be this is where you should be i'll be here i'll be with you so from my own plan here i'll be dropping my videos two times in a week i'll be dropping on wednesdays and on fridays yeah so in the later section we might be having live classes we have having probably going live with some trainings with, a, with some feedbacks for, for the for the for the for the get go and when we're creating and dropping my content on the Wednesday on, on Wednesdays and on Fridays. So thank you guys. Hope to see you soon. See you inside. Peace.